Hey guys, today I come to you with a what's in my bag video. Um, I asked you guys what you wanted to see and you wanted to see an updated what's in my bag video. So here you have it. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off with this bag. This is a bag that can carry everything. I never wore it before, but I am getting the most use out of it now. As you can see, if I would have left the house today with this pink shirt on and these jeans, <laughs> this bag still would have came with me. I don't care. Like I just wear this bag every day and I just like this bag. So, and if it's all my junk in it, my daughter's in sports. So I make sure I always have like essentials and, um, I don't know. I just feel like I need it. And when I carry my little bag, I always take another bag with me that has my little carry-all bag in here and put it in one of those bags that's just like a tote from somewhere. Um, that's always just an extra bag in the car with me because I feel like I need all my stuff with me and I gotta have it, so. Okay, let's start off with my wallet. Um, I have cash in here that I just got out the bank before quarantine because I felt we might need cash. Um, I have my credit card, my ATM card, uh, Costco card, business card, ATM card, and my ID, mm -hmm. <laughs> car wash stamp when I get a car wash, uh, what else, my Mercury, my insurance card. Uh, what else? A Burke William Pass that someone gave me. Let's get into the receipts. I have a Benihana receipt that I, we went to Benihana's for my little brother and my oldest daughter's birthday. Went back, we saw our favorite chef, and of course, he asked about my husband. We had to tell him, but um, we had so much fun. We sat with these guys that were from New York. We had like a perfect table, and they were so funny because one of them coughed and everybody was like, what the hell? Cause they just, like the whole table was wondering like, oh shit. Like this was like the day before it really got real. What else? That was on, what day was this? What day was that? 3-11. Um, book from Barnes and Noble. No, it's not a book, 3-9. I got a, chai latte in grande oh gosh costco this long ass receipt this is before i got really real you guys i just made it to the store before it got real um what date was this 3 12 2020 i got trivia oatmeal kale salad seaweed shaved parmesan uh Perrier, Lime, uh, my favorite, Dawn Platinum, Horizon Milk, 2%, Pecans, Walnuts, Bananas, Peanut Butter, Nut Bars, Mac and Cheese for my baby Koi, um, Tomato Soup, Irish Butter, Canned Chicken, Polish Sausage, Asparagus, Tortilla Chips, Clementines, Lemons, Green Tea, Broccoli, Honeycrisp, Apples, Salmon, Chicken Breast, uh, Steak, More Salmon, eggs carrots and spinach you guys this bill is ridiculous i don't even feel like i got that much for that like what the hell when i sent my little brother his uh package he's in the marines and he literally just finished last week he had a graduation i'm so sad we missed it we couldn't go to the graduation but tissue of course let's start off with my little bag so we have tampons we have sunscreen. I always have sunscreen, you guys, because I always, 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 always go to the beach. I literally will be driving somewhere and I will just stop at the beach. If I, I'll do a detour to take the beach route so I can look at the beach on the way or just stop. I literally have a jacket in my car. I have an umbrella. I have everything from when it's cold, all seasons, all throughout the year. I just go to the beach because it feels like it's a place of solitude for me. I don't know. I just feel like the beach gives me a little bit of peace and I could just sit there quietly and talk to God and 
I will leave the beach and feel so much better. Even sometimes I'll pull up and just sit there. And I remember going one day and it wasn't even hot outside, but I sat there for like an hour and I read my book and I walked in the water a little bit and my nose was burnt. So from that day forward, I always had sunscreen with me and I always put a little bit on my face before I get out the car and go to the beach. I got these headphones. I had my little AirPods, but I gave them to my daughter's friend. He broke his. Um, this Crabtree and Evelyn Citron Honey um, hand cream. I love this hand cream. I'm gonna put some on now. I don't have any more, barely, but I love this hand cream. Oh, it smells so good. It just like puts you in a good mood. Like, hmm, I'm happier now. <laughs> um, I have these dog bags. So I've been taking my dog with me a lot of places now. Like I'll just be like, come on. And at first she's so big and she's so like, she's like a guard dog and she, she's sometimes scary and I don't want to take her out. And I'm not scared of her, but she's just a lot. And over the past year, I've just been spending a lot of time with her and just connecting with her. And I see how like smart dogs are and how sweet they are and how she, I don't know, like sometimes I would have my patio door open in my room and I'd be playing music. And maybe sometimes I'd be crying and she would just sit there at the door and like cry with me. And it's just, I don't know, dogs are so special. I never looked at them that way before, but I'm so happy he gave me her because she's really a part of our family. And she, she's like, she has our back. So I try to spend time with her. Um, I have my mace because my little brother and my daughter are always like, mom, do you have your mace? Or he's like, Tony, do you have your mace? So I have my mace. Yes, I have my mace. Okay, you guys. Breath mints. And this rock, my daughter gave it to me. I don't know what this rock is exactly. I can't think of it at the top of my head, but just something about it. Sometimes I'll just hold it like this and I just think of something positive or I don't know. I believe in God, but I believe in stuff like this. Anything that's positive is of God. God made this. It's a beautiful stone from somewhere. And um, I don't know. I just feel like it's good energy. Like everything has energy. We do. Things do. Everything has energy. So why not use this as a reference point or like something to just when you're having like a, I don't want to say bad day, but a bad moment in your day, you can just hold this, say a little prayer, think of something good, hope for something good, something better to come. I don't know. That's just what. I do with that rock and my daughter gave it to me so it's super special and everything like she's the type of person my oldest daughter when she gives you something like it really has a meaning to it like I don't know she's just a special girl like we have gotten so much closer since my husband died like she she was going through that little teenage phase but she's grown up a lot and I'm so grateful for her like my daughters are my best friends I love my children this is my little junk bag i like this bag i had like a little uh louis bag but it's to me it's not i like a soft bag so it can because you're always stuffing stuff in your makeup bag am i the only person that does that but you're always stuffing stuff in here and as you can see my stuff is coming out so i always need this bag so i try to take it everywhere it's almost like an emergency bag to wear because <laughs> i would leave the house with nothing on my face sometimes nothing and then when i'm out my business manager will call me and he'll be like hey you have to stop up here hey you have to do this hey you got to sign checks hey you and i'm like shoot i look crazy as heck because i want to take layla to school and then i plan on coming back home so my just my whole life had to be adjusted because my husband used to take layla to school every day and now i love waking up in the mornings i look forward to waking up in the mornings and you know why you guys because i get to see a new day I am here on this earth and I get that to. is what I'm grateful for every day when I wake up in the morning and because I'm not a morning person at all I never was and that's why we had so much balance because he loved the mornings and I was just cool in the afternoons because I still would kind of go to bed early he would wake up early and he would go to bed late it's funny okay let's get into this bag this is new to this bag uh, I always had this in my car, but I never practiced hand sanitizer. I'm not that girl that's super duper, oh my gosh, my hands has to be clean. Put this on your hand, do this. But now 
my life has changed. Uh, I'm definitely, I definitely, I'm going to, even after this is over, I'm going to really, and sometimes they say you need like the bacteria that's on your hand because it's good and bad, good and bad bacteria on your hand. But I don't know. I'm just going to use hand sanitizer a little bit more now after this is over. I have a brush for my blush. If I just have makeup on on a regular day, I will just go in and touch, just touch it up. That goes back to this, my Fenty Black Powder. Don't let the whiteness of the powder fool you guys. Let's say I have a day where I walk out the house and I don't put anything on, but then I'm oily. I will use this black powder or I don't know. It's just something special about this black powder and the whiteness of it scared me a little bit, but I'm obsessed with this black powder. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I always have a highlighter because I always have a book with me and sometimes I'm the type of person I read the same book over and over and over. So if I have my book with me, I will highlight things in the book and then sometimes if I'm having like one of those days, I'll just read what I highlighted and then that's it. Like I'll go through all the pages and just read what I highlighted and that will like encourage me or give me a little bit of wisdom for the day or just something that I need a pep. Like I feel like some days are really good, but some days I need to give myself a pep and some we don't, we can't always depend on people for that. I don't want to depend on anyone for that. I want to give myself a pep talk when I need it. I don't want to have to call anyone or ex, you know expect for them to answer the drop of the hat for me i don't i want to be able to give myself the encouragement that i need and depend on myself my inner strength and god a nail file always because my nails are always like getting chipped or there's something because i wear my natural nails with the gel um this glam glow i love this stuff it's just like a little it's not even like a a glow but if you put it all over your face like this has saved me so many times to where I'm just having like a day of lackluster skin and I was dry a lot and anything and I just have to stop somewhere my life has become you got to stop drop and roll you have to go here you got to do this your day is this like every week was a week to week basis for me so I wasn't able to make any plans I didn't go to a whole year I didn't go to any events anyone had something I did not go if someone tried to make a plan with me I'm like I don't plan my life I can't I can't plan anything but for my business my daughter or whatever and then even on top of that more things came up so I don't know and I wasn't always in the mood to get dressed but then sometimes on the way to where I was going I look in the mirror before I walked in or something and I'm like oh I need something so I would go in this bag and figure something out. And this bag made me feel better. Something in this bag, whether it was lip gloss, something. Um, I have this. I fell in love with this. I wish I had two of these for my uh, vanity in there and for travel. But this saves me travel because um, it's like has the flicker pen. And you could just flick it on your eyebrows. And it has the other side that's just a regular brow pen. And I like this. This is a foundation brush. It's like a kabuki brush. I really like this brush. Um, I don't know who it's by, but I really like this brush. Um, this is a highlighter and concealer stick by Anastasia. Like if I do my eyebrows in the car really quick, I'll highlight it right here. And then like, no, not highlight, conceal underneath and then highlight the corners. I love to highlight the corner of my eyes, guys. It's just my thing. I just love to do it. It just makes my eyes pop. Um, <laughs> what I used to do with my husband used to be like, babe, you got something in your eye. I'm like, I put that there, babe. I put it there. Buxom, you guys. I love Buxom lip gloss because it's just amazing. It makes your lips tingle. It was starting to make my lip peel, so I got like, I stopped using it. But um, I started back using it. My daughter got this for me for Christmas, and it's called Iris. It's a color I would never pick, ever, ever. I always go for purplies, and she knew that. But this was more of a purpley pink, and I was like, mm. And she saw I wasn't using it because she was with me for a week. And she was like, so you're not going to use the lip gloss I got you? And I was like, I'm scared. She was like, just try it. And I tried it. I'm in love, love with this lip gloss. 
Like I don't even want to use it that much because I love it so much. LA Girl Pro Concealer. Always need concealer. If you have like a spot, quick spot check. Um, oh, this highlighter. See, I, I forgot about this. Um, this is Crown of My Canopy by Wet n Wild. And this is a beautiful highlighter. It's old, but it's really, really good. I have matches from Boa. I went to Boa recently. I had a meeting with uh, somebody that was a dream. And we went there for the meeting. Uh, I love this Lip Glow Color Reviver Lip Balm. This is my favorite lip balm. I put on lip gloss all day lip balm all day because my lip is always dry and i just always want something on my lip it's since a young girl i've always been the girl with all the lip gloss on all the time even layla she does that now she has a whole little kit she has like a lip combo she's worse than me now um this strivectum i love strivectum this is a sample size but if i need it i'll just put it on my face always have a pen i got this pen from rome and it's the best pen like i got a couple people these pens as a gift but I love this pen because I'm always writing notes I always have like a little note thing because I have like six employees at my other business I have other people that work somewhere else but I have six employees and uh, one time we had a meeting and it was just oh my goodness it was like kind of went bad <laughs> it's hard to manage women I'm so happy for my business manager but anyways that day I was there and even for him like sometimes I'll just write him a note and just give it to him I, that day I wrote notes and gave it to them. You know, I still have to send one of them a book, but I don't know, I just try to do tiny little things to encourage people. Mascara, we have alcohol pads, band-aids. Before you go lavender poopery. Okay, I always, always said that I'm keeping this in my bag in case I need it. I haven't needed it yet, but it's a good thing to have. <laughs> These are little bookmarks if I'm reading my book. Like I said, I'm always like reading and going back, referencing to books. Eye drops. These are the Beauty Secret Eye Drops. Again, I love Dior. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer Collagen. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this in a long time. This is my Bobbi Brown um, Cream Blush. This is in the color Maui, number 36. I got this in London. Wow. I wonder if it's expired. I don't know. I'm still going to use this. I love this. Oh, my goodness. It's like a mauve pink color. I used to use the heck out of this blush. I might need to switch some stuff out from in there to here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we have more, guys. Samples of perfumes, like just in case you're out and you need samples. Uh... Neosporin, I need to put more in here. Black eyeliner. This is for underneath my eyebrows. So like when I said earlier, if I'm like, oh, if I'm concealing under my eye um, brows. A bronzy urban decay eyeshadow. Nail clipper, a spoolie because that urban decay, they have two different sides with no spoolie in case you need it and a sample foundation. This foundation goes a long way. If you go in Sephora and get a sample of your foundation, you can take it with you to go. And I always take this with me because I don't really use foundation all over my face. I like spot it. So this is perfect for me. And yeah, guys, that is it. I keep this with me because sometimes if I'm out, I will just pin my hair up like that and just to get it out my face and it just saves me you know a lot but then it keeps the curl so then i'm i have my curl back video well no that's it for my what's in my bag video i hope you guys enjoyed it um can you guys tell me some things that you think i need to put in my bag that i didn't have in there or what you have in your bag i like to know what's in there and what do you think i need and if i if you think my bag is excessive which i don't because i have lots of tiny things and i feel like if we stay ready we don't gotta get ready <laughs> That's so corny, I know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching always, as always, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.